Today, on Running to Him, it is only when we are acknowledging God in everything that we can turn from evil. If you're joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 15, and we will concentrate on verses 5 through 7. Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 7 says this, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn from evil. Well, verses 5 and 6 will be familiar to most of you. Unfortunately, the old proverb, familiarity builds contempt, could apply to these two verses. We glibly repeat these verses, but don't apply them to our hearts. This is particularly true in these troubled times. Now, this year, by all measures, has been a year of upheaval and struggle. The contentious presidential election and congressional elections, the COVID-19 pandemic, and a record-breaking hurricane season have all combined to bring uncertainty and confusion to all of our lives. Now, how we approach and handle that situation is determined by whether or not we believe verses 5 and 6 and practice the truth found in verse 7. There is no way that we can possibly pinpoint why God has allowed the year to progress as it has. Many Christians are disappointed with the outcomes of the election, and Christians who have suffered through hurricanes and fires, pandemics, are confused as to how God could have allowed these situations to take place. How is he going to be glorified through all of these disasters and loss of life? Now, I wish I had an answer for the why, but I don't. I do, however, have a solution as to how we are to act as growing Christians. We are to trust God in what he is allowing to happen and submit our lives and resources to furthering his kingdom. We live in a world that is both a blessing and a cursing. Disasters and governmental corruption have been around since Adam and Eve were driven from the garden. Currently, we are the most blessed nation on earth. As a broad generalization, we can say that the poorest person in our country has far more benefits than anyone in a third world country and possibly even a developing country. Now, this truth has led Christians to be both complacent about what we have and selfish when we experience a little trouble. We want God to always bring us the good and don't trust him when we experience the bad. If we trust him in all situations, why do we call ourselves blessed when things are going well and blame him, as we do a little child, when we take a turn for the worse? We are to acknowledge him in all our ways and in all our circumstances. If we do just that, we will experience peace in everything. Verse 6b and verse 7 explain that God will make our path straight, and we are not to think more of ourselves than we should. We must be humble. We must be repentful, and we must be thankful in what God is doing in our lives so that we can turn from evil and praise him in everything. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at Phineas Jacobus at runningtohim.net.